Hey guys, welcome back to Boja Survivalist. Today we're going to talk about some dirt cheap items that I think will be worth their weight in gold in an emergency situation. Number one, vinegar. Vinegar can be used to clean wounds, it heals bug bites, it can be used to treat sunburns, it helps inflammation, it helps dry skin or eczema. You can clean surfaces with it. And if you soak your candle wicks in the vinegar, it helps them last longer. Number two, spices. In an emergency situation, you'll be thanking God that you have something to make your food taste better. You can also use them to barter with things that you don't have. Number three, aluminum foil. Aluminum foil has endless uses in an emergency situation. A few of those uses are, you can make a funnel, you can make an impromptu plate. You can collect rainwater. You can use it as an emergency signaling device with the shiny side. Um, you can use it as a food pack to place over your fire to cook your food with. You can use it uh, at night as a reflective device to find your way back to your campsite. You can also make fishing lures out of it. You take some aluminum foil, wrap it around your hook or around a floater and it shimmers in the water and attracts more fish so you'll be able to eat better. Number four, coffee. Okay, coffee is a good energy source. You can use it to help relieve headaches. You can also barter with it. And it's also a good morale booster. Number five, batteries. You need batteries to power your lights or any other electrical device that you have with you. They can also be used as a bartering tool in extreme situations, they can also be used to make a fire with a little bit of aluminum foil and steel wool. Also, batteries are an excellent bartering item because in an extreme situation, people want to feel normal and having batteries to power an electronic device brings you a little bit of normalcy. Number six, Vaseline. Okay, Vaseline can be used as a skin protectant for chapped lips. You can use it as a fire starter. It can also be used to prevent frostbite, to prevent chafing and diaper rash. Number seven, butane. Having a butane stove, an emergency butane stove, and some emergency butane canisters around will be so much easier to cook than having to start a fire every single time that you need to cook. It'll be extremely useful. Number eight, rubber bands. Rubber bands can be used to make makeshift tourniquets. You can use it to make an emergency sling combined with a little bit of duct tape. If you need any kind of extra grip on tools that you're using, you can put rubber bands around them and it gives you that extra little grip. Number nine, over-the-counter medication. Over-the-counter medication will be something everybody needs, everybody will want in an emergency situation. If you have it, you are king. Those include cough medicines, ibuprofens, aspirins, Tylenols, things like that. People will need and want that stuff and they'll be priceless in that kind of a situation. Number 10, duct tape. Duct tape has thousands of uses out in the field and in emergencies. Repairing water bottles, making butterfly bandages for wounds, twisting it together to make cord, patching holes in your shelter, an emergency first aid sling. You can use it to help close wounds and also to cover blisters. Number 11, condiments. Condiments are gonna be like spices. You're gonna to love to have them. They're gonna make your food taste a whole lot better and you can do a whole lot more with your food with condiments. Number 12, garden seeds. Garden seeds will be extremely useful, especially in a prolonged situation where you need to start growing your own food. They can also be used as a bartering item and the food that you grow with them can also be used to barter for other items that you need as well. Number 13, bar soap. Bar soap, as you know, keeps you clean, keeps infections away. That's why it's gonna be good to have. It also helps treat insect bites to keep the sting and the itch away. Number 14, feminine products. That includes tampons, sanitary napkins, cups, 
Also, absorbent underwear. Uses for tampons can be stopping nosebleeds, used as a fire starter. You better not use my tampons for fire starter. <laughs> I will throw up in. They can be used as a makeshift emergency straw. They can also be used to help seal puncture wounds. Sanitary napkins, i.e. pads. They can also be used as a fire starter. They can absorb a lot of blood, so they're good for wounds. You can use them to filter water. And also, in an emergency situation, you can put them in your shoes and use them as makeshift insoles. Number 15, toothpaste, toothbrush. If you have toothpaste and toothbrush in a situation like that, you're gonna feel so much better being able to brush your teeth and have that clean feeling. It's a morale booster and also keeps you healthy. Number 16, first aid supplies. Gauze, band-aids, tape, burn ointment, triple antibiotic cream, all that stuff will be priceless in a situation, especially if you wind up getting hurt. Number 17, vitamins. Vitamins can be used as a bartering tool to trade for anything that you don't have. They also will be able to supplement your diet to keep you healthy and strong while you're going through this emergency situation. Number 18, can opener. When you bug out, if you bug out, you're gonna have some canned goods with you and being able to open them easily without having to jab a knife or try to figure some other way to get that can open will be immensely helpful. Number 19, work gloves. When you're out in an emergency situation, you're doing a lot of work, getting your site ready. You need some good gloves to help protect your hands because you're gonna be using them more than anything else. So always protect your hands, have a good pair of work gloves with you, prevents blisters, cuts, scrapes, all that good stuff while you're trying to get your site ready. Number 20, sewing kit. A sewing kit's good anytime you tear your clothes, you need to get it repaired quick. Your tent has a hole, it can be used to close a hole in your tent. It can also be used for wound care. You can suture up cuts with a needle and thread. 21, zip ties. Zip ties have many, many uses in an emergency situation. Some of which are, they can be used to repair your gear, your tent, tighten up your, your pants if you don't have a belt. If you break a shoestring or boot lace, they can be used to lace your shoes and boots back up. You can use them as a makeshift splint. If you've got two sticks and some zip ties and you know, you've got a, a broken leg or arm, you, two sticks and a couple of zip ties will hold it steady until you can get somewhere to get it treated. 22, toilet paper. We all know about that 2020 toilet paper shortage. Everybody wants to have toilet paper. It's a good item to have. You can also use it as a fire starter. You can use it to makeshift bandages to for wounds to stop bleeds. And it's also just nice to be able to use toilet paper instead of scrounging around for some leaves. 23, dish soap. Dish soap can be used to clean your, your body can be used for makeshift shampoo. You can also mix it with water and use it for a bug spray. And it also helps treat poison ivy. And also for a morale booster for the kiddos, you can make a bubble solution and let them run around and, and make some bubbles to feel a little bit more normal in a stressful situation. 24, candles. Candles are a good source of heat, light, you can use the wax for lip balm. Number 25, sugar. Believe it or not, sugar can help treat open wounds. They used it back in the 1800s. They would pack the wound with sugar and put a bandage over it, and it helps the healing process. It is a good quick energy source. It can be used to remedy hypoglycemia as well. And also, it helps heal mouth sores. That was my list of things that will be worth their weight in gold in an emergency situation. If you got anything to add to this list, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. This is Budget Survivalist. Until next time.